This video will help you understand the difference between the Joggler MGT6000, the ILT6000, and the LLT1000 electronic level transmitters. The MGT6000's electronics send a current pulse through the magnetostrictive sensor wire. When the magnetic field generated by the current pulse is interrupted by the magnetic field of the float, magnetostriction occurs. A torsional wave is then propagated through the sensor wire back to the electronics. Once the torsional wave is felt by the sensing element, time of flight from the start pulse to the end pulse is registered. This time of flight is used to generate a milliamp output of level in the vessel. The ILT6000's electronics send a current pulse through the magnetostrictive sensor wire. When the magnetic field generated by the current pulse is interrupted by the magnetic field of the float, magnetostriction occurs. A torsional wave is then propagated through the sensor wire back to the electronics. Once the torsional wave is felt by the sensing element, time of flight from the start pulse to the end pulse is registered. This time of flight is used to generate a milliamp output of level in the vessel. The LLT-1000 transmits an invisible beam from its emitter lens, down to the media surface. The beam reflects back to the receiver lens. Even if the media surface is not perpendicular to the beam path, a portion of the beam will still reflect back to the LLT-1000 and give a true level output. The electronics use the time of flight of the laser beam to determine a distance value from the unit. A level output is generated from this distance based on user-selected 4 to 20 milliamp points. This calculation refreshes 8 times per second to give an accurate, real-time level output.